are you okay? Me too, I'm doing great. Are you staying home, taking care of yourselves? Yes, me too, I am staying home, always cuidando da saúde, ok? Eating fruits and vegetables, drinking lots of water, very good. Ok, my darlings, today we have a class that we're going to learn some new vocabulary, ok? Vamos aprender palavras novas hoje, novamente, alright? I'm going to show you these new words, this new vocabulary. Uh, it is at page 80 of your book. If you don't have the book, don't worry. I'm going to show you everything here. And I'm also sending you a PDF with the pages of the book we are going to use. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, guys, so this is page 80 of your books, all right? Um, these are the words, the new vocabulary we are working with today, all right? So, I'm going to say the words and I want you to repeat after me. The first word is her. Very good. Next one, cry. Then we have left, away, people, beautiful, swan, very good. So, her e ela, all right, the same way we have he and his. We have uh, she and her. O her pode ser o ela, tá bom? É, é o ela sem um verbo depois, é o ela no final da frase, igual a gente viu o him, alright? Then we have cry. Cry é chorar, ok? Left. Left pode ser esquerda. And left can also be um, algo deixado, ok? Away, guys. O away, é, ele dá uma, uma ideia de para fora, ok? I'm going to give you an example. Vou dar um exemplo para vocês ainda. People é o plural de person. Então, people é pessoas. É o plural de pessoa. Beautiful é lindo ou linda. And swan é cisne, alright? Let's see some examples we have here on your book now. Number one, we need we have the example and then a picture, okay? The mother bird feeds her babies. They cry when they want food. The mother bird feeds her baby. A mamãe pássaro alimenta seus bebês. Uh, they cry when they want food. Eles choram quando querem comida. E aqui tem a figura, né? Da mamãe com os bebês birds, okay? There is one baby bird left. Soon it will fly away. Tem um bebê é, pássaro é, que sobrou, né? Deixado ali. Soon it will fly away. Em breve ele irá voar, ok? Fly away, então, é voar. Voar para longe, sair dali de onde ele está. And the next example we have is people like to watch this beautiful swan. As pessoas gostam de assistir, né, de olhar este lindo cisne. So, that's a beautiful swan, right? Very good. So, uh, the activity we have, guys, of this page is you need to choose one word from this box or this box and then make up a sentence, ok? Vamos escolher uma palavra como atividade dessa caixa ou dessa caixa e fazer uma frase, escrever uma frase com uma dessas palavras aqui, ok? Uma frase diferente dessas que a gente vê aqui nos exemplos, alright? Ok, my darlings, uh, now that we learned uh, him and her, como ele e ela, I'm going to show you a video about that, ok? Vou mostrar um vídeo para vocês explicando melhor o him e her, como ele e ela. É, no vídeo vai aparecer também outros pronomes possessivos, tá? E outros pronomes que não são usados assim como objeto 
Não se preocupem se não entenderem o vídeo todo, é uma introdução a esse assunto, a gente ainda vai ver bem mais sobre ele mais pra frente, ok? Ritu likes to draw. Ritu is good at drawing. We can use she in place of a girl's or woman's name. She is a pronoun. Ritu likes to draw. She is good at drawing. Pronouns are not always used as subject in starting of a sentence. Rima is saying, Rita is my sister. I am playing with Rita. We can use a pronoun in place of the name Rita in the second sentence. But in the second sentence, Rita is not the subject of the sentence. Subject here is I, not Rita. So Rima says, Rita is my sister. I am playing with her. The pronoun her is like pronoun she. It is used in place of girl's name or a woman's name. But she is always used at the starting of a sentence as the subject. Here, her pronoun is not the subject of sentence. Rohan says, I am the only child of my parents. My parents love me a lot. Pronoun me is like pronoun I. When you are talking, you can use pronoun me to refer to yourself. But I is used as subject at the starting of the sentence. But me is not used as a subject. Nita says, this is Rahul's pen. Please give it to Rahul. We can use a pronoun in place of Rahul. In the second sentence, the name Rahul is not the subject. So we will use him, not he. He is only used as the subject of the sentence. This is Rahul's pen. Please give it to him. Him is used in place of a noun which refers to a man or a boy, just like the pronoun he. But he is used as the subject of the sentence, at the start of the sentence. But him is never used as subject of the sentence. A sentence can start with pronoun he, but it wouldn't start with pronoun him. Ritu is with Anu. Ritu is telling Anu a joke. What pronoun should we use to replace the name Anu? Anu is not the subject of the sentence in the second sentence. So, we cannot use she. Ritu is with Anu. Ritu is telling her a joke. Her is also used in place of a girl's name or a woman's name, just like pronoun she. Pronoun she is used as subject of sentence, but here pronoun her is not the subject of the sentence. We don't need to worry. Rajat will join us tomorrow. We can use us when you talk about yourself and some other people. Just like pronoun, we. But us is not used in the starting of a sentence. Ravi and Rana are friends. Nothing can separate them. Here them is used in place of Ravi and Rana. Use them when you talk about many people. It is just like the pronoun they. We use they in starting of the sentence as subject, but them is not used in starting of a sentence. I have bought few apples. I have put them on the table. Them can be used to talk about many objects. Some pronouns tell us that something belongs to someone. For example, this pen is Rahul's pen. 
This pen belongs to Rahul. We can also say this pen is his. His. It indicates that the pen belongs to a male, like a boy or a man. His is a pronoun. This cat is Ritu's. We can also say this cat is hers. Hers. It indicates that something belongs to a female. Her is a pronoun. Her is used for females. This house is ours. Means this house belongs to us. Ours means belongs to us. Like this car is ours. Ours indicates that something belongs to us. This land is theirs. Means their land belongs to them. Theirs means belongs to them. This book is not mine. This is yours. Mine means belongs to me. This book is not mine. This book doesn't belong to me. This is yours. This belongs to you. Yours means belongs to you. So let's summarize. I am a student. I is the subject of the sentence. Please tell me. Me is like pronoun I, but me is not used as subject in starting of a sentence. You can do it. I trust you. Here, a sentence starts with you. In other sentence, you is used as the object. So pronoun you can start a sentence and it can be the object of sentence too. He is my friend. I go to school with him. He is only used as subject of sentence in the start. Him is like pronoun he but pronoun him never starts a sentence. She lives in Delhi. Please give this pen to her. She and her are same as both are used in place of a female's name like girl's name or woman's name or a noun which refers to a girl or woman like queen, mother, sister, etc. But she is always used as a subject at the start of the sentence. We can win. Leave all the work on us. We and us. Both the pronouns are used to talk about more than one people, including the speaker. But as we can see here, we is used in starting of the sentence. But us is used as the object of the sentence. Same way, they is used to talk about many people. But it is put at the beginning of the sentence. Them is used for the same purpose. But it is used as object of sentence. Some pronouns tell us that something belongs to someone. His indicates that something belongs to a male like man or a boy. The dog on the table is his. His means belongs to a man or a boy. For example, the dog on the table is his. This pretty ring is hers. Hers indicates that something belongs to a female like a girl or a woman. For example, this pretty ring is Riyas. So here, hers means Riyas. It means the ring belongs to Riya. This football is ours. Ours means belongs to us. This book is yours. Yours means belongs to you. That school is theirs. Theirs means belongs to them. 
Ritu is a friend of mine. Mine means belongs to me. Like this video game is mine. It means this video game belongs to me. Mine, yours, theirs, ours, etc. are called possessive pronouns as they tell us that something belongs to someone. Okay, my loves, now we are going to do page 35 of your workbook, okay? Don't worry if you don't have the workbook with you. I'm sending you with this video, the PDF, o documento ali, com a página do livro, tá indo para vocês também, okay? And I will show you on my screen how to do everything, so don't worry. Let's go! Okay, my loves, so this is the page of your workbook we are going to do. It's page 35, as I told you before. And uh, first activity, we need to write the word that completes each sentence, okay? But first, let's review the words we're learning today, okay? Vamos revisar essas palavras que a gente está aprendendo hoje primeiro, esse novo vocabulário this new vocabulary, okay? Uh, so just repeat after me, please. Her. Cry. Left. Away. People. Beautiful. Sun. Very good. So, her pode ser ela, né? No final de frase, como a gente viu ali no vídeo, né? Ou dela, ok? Na frente de um objeto vai ser o dela. No final da frase, geralmente, vai ser o ela, ok? Uh, mesmo jeito que tem o him, né? Que pode ser ele. Mas lembrem que o dele não é o him, é dele, ok? Qualquer coisa, assistam aquele vídeo de novo que eu acabei de passar para vocês nessa aula, mas não se preocupem também se não entenderem o vídeo todo, porque ele está em inglês. Nós vamos voltar nesse assunto ainda algumas vezes mais para frente, alright? Cry, então, é chorar, ok? Uh, left, é algo que foi deixado, também pode ser o lado esquerdo, né? O away, é, ele dá esse movimento, essa sensação, essa ideia de movimento, para fora, para longe, tá? E vai estar geralmente junto com outro verbo. E aí nós conseguimos saber o sentido certinho pelo verbo que vem antes. Já vou mostrar para vocês um exemplo aqui no exercício mesmo. People, então, é o plural de person, é pessoas, né? Person é pessoa, people é pessoas. Beautiful é lindo ou linda. And swan, cisne, ok? So, let's go to number one. Number one, I can hear the baby. Eu consigo escutar o bebê. I can hear the baby cry. Eu consigo escutar o bebê chorar. I can hear the baby cry. So just copy cry in this space number one, okay? Number two now, my dog ran. I am sad. My dog ran. Meu cachorro fugiu. My dog ran away. Então, estão vendo ali o sentido do away? Junto com o verbo run, que aqui está no passado, né? Ran, que eu quero falar que ele fugiu, vira fugir. To run away é fugir. Fly away é voar para longe, ok? Então, sempre vai depender do verbo que vem antes do away, ok? I am sad, estou triste. Então, aqui vai o away. Number two, just write away. Number three, the mother fed baby. The mother fed, a mamãe alimentou seu bebê. The mother fed her baby. So, number three, you write her. Ok? The mother fed her baby. To feed, então, é o alimentar. Number four, we have one class today. We have one class left. Today, nós temos uma, uma aula é, que ainda resta, né? Uma aula restante para hoje. We have one class left today. So, just write left 
here on number four, okay? And um, in letter B, guys, you need to find and circle, né? Podem sublinhar ali com uma caneta colorida ou circular, do jeito que vocês preferirem. Six vocabulary words in the word search. Seis dessas palavras aqui, dessa box ou dessa, vocês vão encontrar aqui no caça-palavra, ok? Esse eu vou deixar para vocês fazerem sozinhos em casa e me enviarem a foto no clipe. Podem enviar só do caça-palavra, como essas aqui eu já fiz junto com vocês. Ok, my darlings? Ok, my love. So, this is our class for today. I hope you enjoyed learning all these new words, new vocabulary with me. And I'll see you again tomorrow. We have another video class, all right? See you then. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you.